Hey everybody, just a short video on my continual quest for the perfect trail shoe. And I thought I had narrowed it down and decided that the Hoka Challenger ATR was going to be the closest thing to get me to feel in like my road running shoes and the Clifton's do. And the only thing I wish there was a little more toe room like in some of the either Topo and or Ultra. But I thought I'd give them a try. And I really like the way it feels. I think the tread would probably do good for a versatile shoe. You know, it's not going to be crazy aggressive, but for traveling, photography, light trail use, and just everyday use, it, you can't go wrong with it. Well, then, unfortunately, Ultra came out with the Experience Wilds. And it's a really cool looking shoe. You know, it looks a little more outdoorsy than the Hoka does. It's got some cool. Uh, color combinations the material is um, very nice it seems like it'll be dur durable enough but yet breathable the only thing for me I may find that the toe box is a little bit too narrow a lot of people have talked about Hoka has narrowed that down and I believe this is what they call their traditional um, style so it is a little bit narrower and then there's not as much volume here in the forefoot however really nice lacing system tongue like people have said is just incredibly comfortable the cushioning may be just a little more than hoka and that's what i've been looking for so that's going to be hard to decide and then the four millimeter drop i actually like it probably a little bit better than the hoka so this is going to be a hard choice um, the other thing the tread the max track people said it can be a little slick on wet rocks and that's something I'm really trying to achieve is a little bit of better grip and when things are wet. Um, so it's going to be a hard decision. But I think they're both worth looking at. And um, all the reviews online, people are really loving this shoe. The only thing, the heel counter back in on the inside of the heel, on the medial and lateral side, there's a very large padded area there. I'm afraid that could be a source of blisters um, on a long day of either walking or on the trail or running. And I'm, you know, that doesn't have it in this shoe. So that could be a factor for some folks. Um, but I've not had the problem that other people said where, you know, the back of the heel was cutting in their Achilles tendon area. I think on the Hoka, it's just as big. Um, so I don't think that's an issue. But anyway definitely worth looking at both of these shoes the ultra wilderness trail and the hoka challenger dtr have a good day